Hey guys, it is the either loved or dreaded Black Friday, depending on if you're a fan of shopping. So I myself am not a huge fan of shopping, so I've done as they say and I've opted outside. Um, I'm at work all day today, but I'm just on my lunch break real quick. I came out just to see what things look like here at Cary Lake, just outside of Hibbing. Um, as you can see, the lake is starting to be covered over, ice is forming and it uh, won't be long and we won't see anything but a big sheet of white out there. So, um, the first thing I just wanted to address real quickly yesterday's video. Um, I realized things got a little personal, a little emotional there. Um, I got a little choked up when I was talking about things with my mom. And, um, you know, I thought about cutting all that out and basically reshooting the, the video. Um, in the end, I decided not to because, you know, this set of daily videos, this vlog, is is not a sterile photography tips in a, you know, absolutely vacuum space of personality type of show. This is this is a daily set of videos where I, as a photographer, as a father, a husband, uh, a son, um, you know a friend a family member i make these videos as a way to share just a little bit of my day um partly for myself so i can have a visual recording and an idea of you know what was going on uh, around me um, during this time as as the days and weeks and months go on and i think it'll be kind of cool to look back you know possibly years from now and see what was going on where my mindset was maybe how my ideas have changed and all of that so um that's the first part you know secondly in order to to do something like this i have a lot of you know thoughts is what i'm sharing with you about photography and i do share tips and little things like that um but i'm i'm also a, a person and in i think for me it's important to share um the personal side of of what i'm talking about the personal side of me and it, and it just helps make these videos um a little bit more of a slice of life for just who I am as a photographer. It gives you, uh, hopefully as a, as a viewer, uh, a little better idea of, of who I am and where I'm coming from because then you can understand a little better what my ideas are and what they're based on. Um, it's not saying I'm always right by no stretch of the imagination. I know there's a lot of things where I've got some opinions on things, others have opinions on their things, and they clash but you know what it doesn't matter it's just our opinion it's the way we view things so i i sure hope i didn't lose any of you guys for getting a little too personal yesterday um but quite honestly i don't feel it was too personal um you know I, i'm as i said yesterday putting myself out there with these videos to both share a bit of me and some photography knowledge and thoughts and, and things like that for everyone else but also putting myself out there so that it's it's a way for me to continue to grow as a creative uh, person, you know, not just photography, but with music and, and things like that, even these videos. So anyways, that was what I wanted to touch base on and talk about in regards to yesterday's video. So sure, happy for all of you that stuck around and hopefully we didn't lose too many based on that. So, so photography wise today, I don't have a lot on my mind, to be honest. Work's been kind of up and down. Haven't had a ton of time to really put together anything um, groundbreaking or, or deep as far as a, a topic. But um, I realized that yesterday's video, I was talking about struggles in flat lighting conditions like this and in the snow particularly when you're shooting in the pines and places like that where there's just really no middle ground it's all either black or white and i got some comments today uh, from more than one person actually that were giving me a hard time saying you know what that's why you have to switch to manual you have to use those manual controls on your camera and um you know i, I certainly understand that as a photographer and my intent when I brought that up was to kind of get into that and how to get around some of those things um, to make your camera work for you. But instead, I was uh, kind of a little bit absent-minded because of getting thrown for a loop uh, by the surprise, you know, emotion hitting me there. And so I realized I never actually finished that tip. So and we talked a little while back about using the exposure compensation dial if you're shooting in some of the more automatic modes. Um, 
that's a great way to do it as far as just being able to brighten or darken the scene in general. But if you are comfortable switching into those manual settings, that's absolutely the best way to ensure that you are getting the exact exposure that you're looking for in a situation like that because as we've talked about before the camera is just trying to make everything a nice even gray it's trying to balance out the highlights and the black points to make sure that there's a, an even exposure across it and sometimes it doesn't realize you know what's going on so if, if your camera is picking up more of the darks you're gonna see your snow just be blasted nuclear I mean it's gonna just be so bright there's no detail there at all and just be crazy like it was that one day uh, when I was shooting the video where all the snow was just blown out so um, on the flip side of that if the camera is gonna expose and the scene has more of the snowy areas and the dark areas it's gonna actually lower that snow down to a you know kind of a grayish tone which is going to make all of your trees and all of those darker details absolutely black so the best way around it a um, couple things you can do like i said number one you can jump into manual mode on your camera and just you know change things like either your aperture or your shutter speed um, even your iso if, if you're comfortable with doing that to help bring those exposures to a level that's acceptable and, and that's gonna give you the most detail for what you're looking for in your shot. One of my favorite tricks in scenes like this is to use not the spot metering mode, which can be very useful, and I use spot metering a lot on my cameras, um, especially when I'm dealing with, with subjects where I wanna make sure something is, is just locking focus on that and letting the background do what it will. But I, I like in situations like this using what they call the center weighted um, metering mode on my camera and what that means is it's gonna still your camera is gonna still look at the whole scene if you're not comfortable with going into manual this is um, but you put it on that on that center weighted media uh, center weighted matrix mode boy that's a tongue twister and it's gonna look at the whole scene but it's gonna give preference to whatever you have um, in that center dot that little focusing spot on your screen whatever you're using you know putting your focus on it's going to give a little preference and look at that area and expose for that a little bit more than it will the rest of the scene and it's a nice way to get a nice balance between the two so you know of course there's as they say a thousand ways to skin a cat i'm not sure why they say that because i don't know why anyone would skin a cat but hmm that's a weird saying isn't it i don't know but i've heard it all all my life so but you know that the best thing you can do my number one tip for shooting in conditions like this when you've got a lot of snow a lot of contrast even on flat lighting days like today the number one thing you can do for yourself to help you out is to just get out and practice play with the settings on your camera because if you can get comfortable in a more manual mode on your camera it's just going to help you and so um, just get out play with those settings so you can start to understand what they're going to do for you and um, That's how you're going to learn. That's how I learned It's how most of us learn is just by getting out there and doing it. So if you have uh, Any specific questions about you know center weighted matrix metering um, You know tips for getting started in manual just give me a holler I'm absolutely happy to talk with you and uh, absolutely more than happy to help in any way I can. But I have to get back to work. You guys take care and I will talk to you tomorrow.